That's the power of the fallen angel versus the holy angels in one man Jesus or in one man Antichrist or in one man false Christ. So an Antichrist is obviously a murderer and, and a rapist and a robber. And a false Christ is obviously someone that, is, that is loves lies more than the truth or a false witness. Matthew chapter 20, which is relevant to today, 1 to 16. One speaking for a friend when a situation is unfair, as in the instance of our wages. Didn't we work for the same wage? God, symbolic to God and Jesus, gave one type of wage to an individual and a different type of wage to a different individual. Can't I do with my money what I want to do with my own money? Are you going to get stingy against me because I'm generous towards my daughter? I've always been generous towards my daughter because I loved her. And then they decided to accuse me on money matters and made my, and she, they forced my daughter or manipulated my daughter to fill in forms so that they can steal that money inheritance for her 18th birthday, which I wanted to add another £500 in it. And I'm glad I haven't because I have a, I have a, nasty, mug, a, a nasty foster mum who... Um, has managed to force my daughter to keep her emotions in the Pandora's box and accept everything that's abnormal, including the relationship with her opposite sex. is totally abnormal. It is a crime against humanity. And it is sexual grooming. Because my daughter has no choice but to be with him. Which is wrong. God wants the woman to have one husband, but while she's going through shopping, looking for the certain type that God finds for her, it's blocked, as they blocked me. Well, I attempted to block me anyway. Um, so she has no choice. She, she thinks in her mind that, that that is her destiny. That is just this one Indian man who is who I think is the devil. If he is now 18 years old. So my daughter was demon-possessed from as a child. She used to say Allah Kum, which was an Indian thing. Um, and also my father is also obsessed and possessed about India. So it's some, it's some type of demon through my generation and my ancestry connecting my father who is also a per obscurance and a pervert in, of justice in my life that I've only met in my entire life four, four or five times because he hates my mum. I don't blame him, I hate her too. And I hate him too because they're both as bad as each other. They've never given me a penny in my life, they've abandoned me in a foreign country and they neglected me as a child when I was sexually abused. So it's a generational curse. However, the difference is I didn't create the sexual abuse on my daughter because I was already divorced seven or eight, seven years from him. He did it because he was distressed by the death of his son and he was distressed this is this is before he this is the, this is before the death of his son actually that i suspect he did it because my daughter was two years old to, uh, up to four years old he had contact with her i divorced when she was two years old so he's a total madman i don't trust him i don't trust him one bit and yet i was drugged to my eyeballs by mental health psychiatric drugs because they invaded me and started abusing me so if i travel in a taxi i'm automatically going to be discriminated against. If I travel on a bus, I'm automatically discriminated against because of the power and the principle of darkness. That means gossip, wrong judgment, false witnesses, and the majority compared to the power of God to say that if I, I, could, I could change this by doing this video, maybe pinning it to my post so that I am not discredited and disserviced in a taxi, on a bus, or on hospital transport for the NHS people. They've destroyed my medical records, they've written false reports, they said I was diagnosed with schizophrenia, I was never diagnosed with schizophrenia. And so they've, they're, they're continually attacking me and um, as, an in, as, sort of, as an innkeeper, or the devil that lives or dwells, it thinks it lives with me. Even the fact that I suspect, I don't trust Thrive Homes Association, that because I heard workers go up into the loft too many times, and I suspect that they've, I've had people do a rewiring of the wires, for electricity about three years ago or four years ago so there is holes in the ceiling where they that, that they have looked where they can put a secret camera to spy on me which is another criminal but again i have no evidence to catch them by doing this video it's probably too late to catch them so they've overdone it on fake news they've overdone it on fake news all over the place in my life and if i was going to make fake news would i call it fake news or would i call it true news to reveal my abusers so so as in the example of, of the Bible I've just written, wrote and made written some notes referring to Matthew 20, 1 to 16. So, th so, so they got away with abusing me, kicking me, um, lying to me, cheating me as evil rodents. Uh, even rodents treated me better than them. And even rodents would get punished for being outside and not, and not um, being out into the open. But these are, they're, they're worse than rodents and when they're out in the open, no one touches them. So it is a parasite 
similar to a bed bug, but it's almost invisible because this is what a subtle bully does. Um, to one extreme of being invisible and hiding their secret cameras, to the other extreme of, or, uh, of um, being similar to a Bigfoot, that big ape, where everyone can see it or spot it, a big hairy monster. At five o'clock, he went and found others standing around, symbolic to God and Jesus. This is the story Jesus said. Why are you standing around all day doing nothing? So they actually employed these abusers, given the credit, without being vetted for... Uh, they're saying, I have a personality disorder. I don't. I'm more normal. <laughs> I'm more healthy mentally compared to them, who are abusers. So they actually have jobs, and they, they do nothing all day. So they, they, they answered here in the Bible to the question as the unemployed because no one has given us a job to do so when they are given the job as employed to work in the vineyard for example they started complaining because they didn't have a, they didn't have a fair wage and this is why jesus reveals it to say in matthew chapter 21 to 16 that some workers were abusers in other words false false professionals and other workers were genuine professionals that's the reason they um didn't have the same wage so the fact that they teach me to complain. They say, go and complain because that will solve your problem. What they're actually saying is go and become an abuser so that you will stop being abused. So this needs to, this needs to change. And we need to reverse the false news and make more true news. We need to, as a society, instead of making complaints, because I don't want to make complaints that, makes, that, that, that does nothing, it makes matters worse. It only provokes my bullies. So these creepy crawlers... I've invented the tracking and tracing system. That's another thing that they're using to attack vulnerable people, not the not not those who are in the victim, not those who are the villains. So it's a, another battle of their design, of their design to say you're not welcomed here, whatever business that is. We're going to do a disservice to you because uh, you're in the victim category. You're not allowed to shop here. You're not allowed to use our services here. You're in the victim category, and so we do need more good Samaritans. We do need to have. Um, this investigated such as september 11th what happened in september 11th one party was rejected and the other party was mocked and insulted which caused or ignored um and uh, it's a stinky sin for for the banking industry for the economy for money and so many people have died and suffered as a result of that that they didn't provoke anybody they were unprovoked minding their own business going to work and then they were the innocent people and civilians were killed and uh, were they all cretins no i'm sure that some of them among them but not all Christians as a typical commoner. <laughs> it also reminds me of the story of the Red Riding Hood. She, she approached the wolf and she said, you don't look like my grandma, you look like a wolf. And it's exactly what I said to Roger. I said to Roger, um, you, you sound and you look the same as a cretin or as an idiot. He says, I assure you, I'm not. Um, and so people could judge you by appearances and what you sound like and even your height, which is wrong. Um, but what is right is to say, well, this is the outcome of me trusting you. And because I have trusted you, now I have to be punished by the police that I reported you to, who said, quote unquote, he was your friend, you trusted him. And so you let him in. So the evidence is there that I did, did I abuse the abuser? So if I, if I abuse the abuser for my self-defense, then, then all hell will break loose to attack me for it. Again, this is again, being recorded to say that there is no good Samaritan left. I have no right as an unemployed woman or vulnerable woman to defend my home and defend my human rights. They would soon accuse me of abusing an older man who was 30 years old, older than me. So I'm in my 40s and he's in his 70s. I think he'll be nearly 80 years old soon. <sighs> so my plan as of Tuesday is to remove my rubbish. I have to motivate myself. There's no one here to motivate me. I'll have to speak to my uh, private rubbish collection agent to see if he would still, if he's happy with smaller bags, because I cannot lift, I struggle lifting big bags like this, so it would be better for me to have smaller bags. And so young people, old people, any age people are responsible for this discrimination to say, I'm unemployed and I have been um, abused, so therefore I, I don't have that lady uh, entitlement. So my home has been like a hospital for the past nine years, and uh, I managed to walk again. I couldn't do. I was totally paralysed from 2016, 17, 18 and 19. So two years ago, I was totally paralysed. And um, the response for that is I, was a, I, I asked for help. He knew I was socially isolated at the time, taking medications. And he, he said, oh, poor you, and can I help? And so when I asked him to help, he repaid me doubly for evil. Um, and so it's abuse. 
and uh, and it, the damage was already done. It, he was unknown to me and what he could do as a result of his lying, so I gave him his freedom to see how far he would do it to the severe degree of entirely mocking me. So, of course, I reported to the police to say, am I having a cesarean section? Am I going to abort a baby? Roger is an old man, which made me think of Mel Gibson's Passion of the Christ film. In the process of Christ being crucified, he saw a vision of a widow carrying an old man instead of a baby. That doesn't make Mel Gibson the true prophet. It just makes Mel Gibson identify a horror scene of the reality of the system for widows and for the, the abused, sexually abused um, victims. So how am I going to push a man off who is much heavier than me and much stronger than me? We're both, we're both disabled. However, he's still stronger. He's more capable um, than I am. He has probably less pain than I have. So he's not a baby. He's not, he's not a fetus. He's not a midget uh, for me to simply stop him from doing what he did. And that's why I contacted the police, but instead they treated me like a plague. They, treat, they still treat me like a plague in the public, as if I, my home is a plague and I'm suffering from famine, stuck in the dungeon of that dragon. So I want to make my home feel like a home. I don't want to make my home feel like a plague and like a famine. I want to receive the money that I'm eligible for. I want to receive the respect in the community that I'm supposed to have. I want to be able to plant herbs in, on my balcony and clean my balcony, clean my home and live here as long as I want to without being threatened by Thrive Homes that are telling me to get out because it's not a suitable accommodation. I'm housebound anyway. So they're not going to do a house arrest and tell me to get out. This is also abuse of power. My rent is paid. I don't, I, and I don't owe them anything. I claim full housing benefits and council tax. Why are they 